Okay, okay. wag wag lids. A local bar hosted their first comedy night. Big room had a mixture of rows of seats or premium booths that they charged top dollar for. I didn't go, but I've heard the sound system failed and sounded like a supermarket tannoy. After a bit of playing, two comics wa walked out and the other two struggled through it after two hours of tinkering. The show was apparently a total shambles. But how would you have reacted to this? Would you have held on for the good of the night or would you have walked? Cheers, Lids. Love the podcast. Keep it up. That's from Luke Brown. Depends on the fee. Yeah. Um, uh, my and how much you needed it. Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> it's my least favourite thing, though, when it's like cunty crowds happen, yeah. shit bills are put together, awful venues can exist. Yeah. But for it to be like tannoy level of tech fuck up. I remember I watching you get awful. really annoyed once at the Crown Hotel where Hot Water used to be based because the mic stopped working. And about four times in your 30 minute closing set, you're like, I want a mic. You couldn't even keep it in. You said it like four or five times. Yeah, well, you can't do it. Like, it's. That's, I, I felt bad for a second then, and you're like, No, 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 no. You, you, you were well within your rights. You were just like, This is not. And you were on last, and everyone else had had a mic. It just stopped working, and they didn't have another mic or wire. And you're like, I want a fucking mic. I did, a gig, I did a gig on a boat in Cambodia, and the whole setup just broke a couple of minutes into the set. And so I did it a cappella, but they all got their phones out and put the torches on their phones. So I got lit by torchlight and then just did it without a mic. And it was it was really cool. <laughs> like you were singing Candle in the Wind. Basically, yeah. Mate, that sounds you, did, you did a gig on a boat in Cambodia. Yeah. And that's like, and I cannot believe they didn't have a good tech setup. Yeah, yeah, the tech setup. <laughs> they weren't even <laughs> filming it. I mean, if you, if you really want things to be shared on social media, guys, you need to record the sets. What's your view of Cambodia, though? Because they do have electricity and stuff. And like they can barely see Cambodia from here. <laughs> No. Do we do the voices again? I got <laughs> bollocked before. What's that? You said, what's my view of yeah, Cambodia? Yeah, I'm what? No, Carl. Oh. It's, just, it's just classic Carl, stuff. Carl, I don't think you understand. What he meant is, what's your opinion, opinion. of Cambodia? Oh, right. I twisted it to be, what I can't what see it from here. Yeah, Carl, no. read my tone right. Eat your quivers! <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> Just for the audio listeners, uh, Carl's got quavers on his desk. And um, no, I, I understand. Yeah, I un Yeah. Yeah. I understand they've got electricity, but. Well, they you know, when you go to a pub in the UK and yeah. they're like, oh, we do lights are hard. So there's lights on the walls. And they're on. Yeah. And the mic is like, you know, got one. It's basically a fucking speaking spell. It's, it's a wireless thing, and it actually goes into the Bose speakers around the pod. Oh. Oh. We've got the uh, the DJ who does weddings here <laughs> on the weekend, and he's got his set up, so you're literally lit up by red, white, gr like great the, stuff. The, yeah, 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 the wedding disco lights. And you're going to be spoiled for walk-on music. He's got seven CDs. <laughs> seven. We're going to start the comedy <laughs> after they've had the curry buffet, uh, and <laughs> when they've when they've been when they've had that, you can you can have a plate of curry from the buffet. Only when they finished. And please do help yourself to one post mix drink from the bar. Mm. How's your, what would you call it as a co comic when you, yeah, you're right. When you need the money when you're making your way up, you will do the gigs. Yeah. Now, how are your, like, it's almost like I could be a bit precious about that. I mean, like, if you've not given me a fucking mic, I can't do the gig. Like, I just did a gig recently and it was a piece of shit and it was clicking out. I still did the gig and everything. Yeah. How are you for sort of like having your madam moment? I'm I will do the gig. If I've if I've booked for it and I've turned up, if it's seven out of ten badly put together and it's just not good, I'll do it and then just never work for that guy again. If it's ten out of ten bad and no effort's gone in and they're like, oh, yeah, uh, well, we're not going to turn the music off. We're just going to lower it down. You're going to stand in the corner and they don't really know comedy's on. I'll just go, mate, I'm not fucking doing this and I'm getting off. If it's If it's horrendous, fuck off. Like, yeah. Ever happened? Have, have, ever, I, ever, have walked, I ever got off? Have ever pulled a gig at the gig? Um, nearly once. So this was oof, maybe seven or eight years ago. And Adam Rushton booked me for the gig in Warrington, and I got to the venue, and they had an A4 laminated bit of paper on like the front wall of the venue, which was like next to a shopping centre, right? And that was their marketing. They're like, we've had a poster up. And two people turned up. Two who knew staff at the bar. And <laughs> they were like, oh, this is horrible, isn't it? And I was like, yeah, we can't do a gig to two people, mate. Can we just get our money and go? And he's like, I'm not fucking paying you. You haven't done the gig. So I was about to go. 
And then I went, I will do the gig. And he's like, we'll go and do the gig then. So we did the gig to two people who didn't even look at us. <laughs> I, I walked out. I didn't walk out. I got to a gig at, uh, where Excess Malarkey used to be in Manchester. Mm. And I think it's called the Cheshire Cat. And it's a student pub. This is how long ago Josh Jones, our very own Josh Jones, was doing the 10-minute open spot in the middle section. Someone had gone on in the first section, and then Josh Jones and another lad were doing 10 minutes each. So this may be five years ago, and I'd driven uh, an hour to get there in a, snow, a bit of a snowstorm. You know one of those drives where you're like, ah, oh, God, this is not ideal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snow's one of those things that it's, it's just, like, it doesn't happen loads. But when it does, you're like, if you're going to fucking have a crash on the motorway, that's probably going to be one of the reasons. It's yeah. it's a ball late when it's 150 quid on a Thursday. I got there and it was just a loud, busy student pub at this fucking end of January. And they were shouting. They were just on the piss. And I could see through them a stage with Josh Jones just struggling in front of about 14 people. And actually, those 14, 15, maybe even 20 people looked like they were there for the comedy. And Josh was just struggling. He was on the, again, like the PA that was all around the room. Yeah. And I just stood at the back and went, Listen, I can't, I'm not doing this gig. I'm not going on to just have to shout for half an hour. And the, and while I was there, I was there maybe 25 minutes. I could, as pubs do, they get louder, don't they? As everyone's, it gets a little bit busier. There was at least, on the mezzanine as well, 150 people they were just not watching the gig. They were just in their booze. They'd done the classic thing of, let's just set the, set the gig up there, and it was free to walk in. It was a fucking nightmare, mm. and I just didn't go. I Still, just, it's good I life just, coming is that back. in the Manchester Uni Halls? <laughs> no, it's just across from there. Just across from there, it's an old church. And I, uh, the the guy who was running it came over to find me and went, oh, it's not great. I was like, mate, I, I can't go on. This isn't a gig. And he went, yeah, I know. I'm really sorry. And I, I wasn't going to get the fee because the venue wouldn't give me the money. But I was like, I'll lose the 150, which I needed. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. I cannot stand there and hate my existence for half an hour. Whilst there's something about, about being rejected by young people that makes it slightly harder as well. Students like, is this your life, mate? And you're like, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 And you have to, you have to drive home with it sitting in you. Yeah, if like, you do it, and you just, I think I, I think, skidded all the way home. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you might die tonight for no money, but you got your pride. <laughs> <laughs>